Hello kindergarten, it's time for our language arts. It's Friday the 5th of March 2021. We are going to recap all that we did this week for language arts. I hope you're ready. Let's get warmed up boys and girls. Let's sing the days of the week song. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week. There is Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. And today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. And tomorrow will be Saturday. Do you know the months of the year? Let's sing a song to remember. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Let's sing it one more time. January, February, March and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. January has passed. February has passed. So now we are in the month of March. Today, we will recap what are opposites. We will state examples of opposites. Listen to a story attentively, practice retelling a story, and identify story elements. I hope you're ready. First, let's look at opposites. What are opposites? Do you remember? Hmm. Pause the video to answer. I'll give you a hint. Words like fast, slow, empty, full are examples of opposites. Two words that have completely different meanings. Opposites are two words that have completely different meanings. Some examples of opposites are hot and cold. The fire is hot, but the snow feels cold. Up, down. A seesaw goes up and down. Heavy, light. The elephant is heavy. But the feather is light. Shallow, deep. If something is not shallow, then we say it is deep. The river is shallow, but the ocean is deep. Do you know the opposites of these words? Hmm, let's see. There, I have a boy. What's the opposite of boy? If someone isn't a boy, we say they are a girl. Did you guess that correctly? Okay, let's move on to the next one. This sign says go. Hmm. What's the opposite of go? If I don't want something to go, I would tell it to... Stop. The opposite of go is stop. Touch the tennis ball on your screen. This tennis ball is small. What's the opposite of small? The opposite of small is big. Big, small. They are opposites. Touch the night sky. The 
Have you touched the night sky? Okay, what is the opposite of night? If it's not night, then it is day. Yes, when the sun is shining and all around looks bright. Here's a little girl. She's wearing a pink dress. Do you see her? Okay, she's showing us the front of her body. What is the opposite of front? The opposite of front is back. Mm -hmm. Here we have a glass. That glass has juice all the way to the top. So it is full. Hmm. What is the opposite of full? If something isn't full, then it is empty. Did you guess all the opposites correctly? I hope you did. Okay, kindergarten boys and girls, apart from opposites, this week we also looked at story retelling. Hmm, what does that mean? Do you remember? What is story retelling? This is telling a story over in your own words so someone who has never heard it can know what it is about. When you hear a story, you should listen carefully so that you are able to tell someone else about it and they should be able to understand exactly what the story is about. So let's practice being good listeners. Turn on your listening ears, boys and girls, because it is story time. It's story time. Let's stand and sing our story time song. Hands go up and hands go down i can turn myself around i can stand up on one shoe i can listen so can you i can sit i'll show you how story time is starting now okay boys and girls remember we are going to listen to the story listen carefully The name of the story is The Naughty Monkey. Ashley the rabbit has three new friends. They are Sophie, Josh, and Tom. Today, she is playing with Sophie in the garden behind Sophie's house. Do you see Ashley the rabbit? Touch Ashley the rabbit. Yes, there she is with the pink bow in her hair. And she's playing with her friend, Sophie, in the garden behind Sophie's house. Are you dry today, Ashley? asks Sophie. She is making a joke about the day Ashley fell in the pond in the park. Yes, I am dry today, smiles Ashley. Thank you for helping me to get out of the pond. Sophie and Ashley are sitting under a big tree at the back of the garden. Plop! Something falls down from the tree. What was that? asks Ashley. I don't know, answers Sophie. Plop! Plop! It happens again. Two times. Look at this, says Sophie. Ashley moves closer to Sophie. Sophie is pointing at something. Ashley looks at it. It's a banana peel. Hmm. They look around the ground. They find two more banana peels. Plop. It's another banana peel. But this time, 
It drops down right on top of Sophie's head. Yuck! Sophie and Ashley hear someone laughing. <laughs> they look up into the tree, and what do they see? It's a monkey. It's a very naughty monkey. It's Baba the monkey. Hey, you up there! Says Sophie. What are you doing? But Baba does not answer. He only laughs. <laughs> Plop! He drops another banana peel. This time it drops on Ashley's head. Sophie and Ashley are not happy. This is a very naughty monkey. Why is he dropping banana peels down to the ground? Why is he dropping banana peels on top of their heads? You come down here right now, says Ashley. Yes, says Sophie. You must help us clean up this mess. But Baba just laughs. <laughs> Now he starts to swing from branch to branch. Oops! He misses a branch. He falls to the ground. Plop! But this time it's not the banana peel. This time it's a naughty monkey. He's not moving. Oh no! Is Baba hurt? Sophie and Ashley are scared. They are not happy about the banana peels, but they don't want Baba to be hurt. They run over to see if Baba is okay. He is on his back. They look down at him. He jumps up and laughs <laughs> and runs around in circles. He is not hurt. He was just pretending to be hurt. He runs and jumps and does cartwheels and somersaults. Sophie and Ashley laugh at Baba. He is a naughty monkey, <laughs> but he is also a very funny monkey. My name is Baba, he says as he runs around. I'm Sophie, and this is Ashley, says Sophie. Sophie and Ashley start to run around with Baba. <laughs> now they try to chase him, but he is too fast. He runs around the tree and they follow him. He looks behind him and does not see the banana peel on the ground. Ah! Baba slips on the banana peel. His feet go way up into the air. Plop! He lands on his back again. Ow! This time, Sophie and Ashley sit on top of Baba. He can't move now. Why are you sitting on top of me? shouts Baba. Let me go! Let me go! We can't let you go until you answer a question says Ashley. Yes, says Sophie. Why do you drop banana peels? I don't know, <laughs> laughs Baba. I don't know what to do with the peels after I eat the bananas. But this is not good, says Sophie. We don't want banana peels in our garden. You're right, says Baba. I'm sorry. I made a mess and now I must clean it up. So Baba starts to pick up banana peels. There are so many banana peels. So Sophie and Ashley help Baba. Now the garden is clean. Thank you for helping me to pick up banana peels, says Sophie. Let's have a snack. What do you want to eat? How about a banana split, says Baba. The children laugh. They are now best friends. The end.
Okay, kindergarten, you just heard a lovely story. Hmm. Can you try to retell the story to your mommy or daddy? Pause the video and tell your mommy or daddy all that the story was about. Okay, let's continue. In today's story, we learn about the characters. The characters are the people or animals in the story. Can you remember the names of the characters in today's story? Hmm. Ashley Rabbit, Sophie, and Baba the Naughty Monkey. Here's another story element, setting. This week we learned that the setting is where the story takes place. Do you remember where this story took place? In Sophie's garden. Behind Sophie's house. Very good. Do you remember the events in the story? Those are the things that happened at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. What happened at the beginning of the story or the start of the story? Pause the video to answer. At the beginning of the story, I remember Ashley and Sophie were playing in the garden. What happened in the middle of the story? Hmm. Think about it. Tell your mommy and daddy what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Next, we talked about the problem. What was the problem in the story? Do you remember? I remember that Baba was very naughty and that very naughty monkey always kept throwing his banana peels on the ground. That made the place very messy and untidy. And what was the solution? How was the problem solved at the end of the story? Do you remember? Well, after Baba slipped on one of the banana peels, he realized that it was quite dangerous to have those banana peels lying around. And Ashley and Sophie told him that it wasn't nice. They asked him why he throws the banana peels on the floor. He didn't know. They taught him a better way of dealing with his banana peels after he eats the bananas. You can clean them up and put them in the right place. Remember boys and girls, when you are retelling a story, remember to talk about the characters, the setting, the events, the problem and the solution. Boys and girls, I hope you remember to practice your opposites and practice retelling stories. Remember the most important part of retelling stories is listening to the story carefully so that you remember the characters, the setting, the events in the story, the problem and the solution. And you can also talk about your favorite part of the story. Boys and girls, remember to stay safe and to wash your hands often. See you next time. Bye.